Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Camel shit? No, it's, it's not. Neutral, neutral it's color. It's neutral color. I can sell that all that long. I'm the greatest salesman walking on earth. America, a nation rooted in rebellion. Our most notable success stories often carved by indomitable spirits and fueled by distilled ones. She's a land where the renegade mindset, when blended with old-fashioned relentless hustle and a pioneer-like innovation, can truly catch lightning in a bottle. Which brings us to this tree, the lifeblood of our story. Three decades ago, it looked like this, and now it's about to begin an extraordinary journey, one that will impact the lives of thousands and multiple nations. And like so many times before, it's an American work ethic, that healthy disobedience fueling this journey. The following is a true story about a different breed of cowboys, a tale of strays, reined in and trained up in a business run by rogues and rebels who found sport in bucking the establishment. It's about transformed lives, second chances, where redemption has a global impact. It's about this company, which is run by him. His name is Squeaky. He employs a host of unlikely characters, allies in a quest to build an empire. When all goes well, these trees support thousands of people across multiple borders, and Squeaky gets happy. When Squeaky's happy, things get crazy. Extremely crazy. The road between the branches and the bars is full of intrigue, and that's the story we're telling. None of which would be possible without him. His name is Ed, and that's where things get really interesting. 99 I guess what got me where I am is my big heart and God. We were known as the rogues of the industry, and we irritated the hell out of uh, a lot of the established players. When I first got into it uh, back in the 70s, that was a pretty wild place. I was the only female out there with them for probably 20 years. And I've been to some places that I should not have gone to. When I first started here, oh, um, I probably shouldn't say that. Some of our nightly activities are, uh, are, are, are rather enjoyable, I'd have to say. They're kind of exciting. <laughs> I can't talk too much about them, but. <sighs> well, how can I say? Uh, I have worked hard, and I, 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 I do play hard. And the play is not so much that I do it for me, it's just I have so many people around me that like to go out, and I go because I pay for the party. I've had every reason for God to kill me and be dead, but I think there's a couple of things that keep me from doing it. He's afraid I'll uh, ask him 40 questions and he don't want to spend that time talking to me, and, and the devil's afraid I'll take his job. I was on a prideful uh, downward spiral that I didn't I didn't even see. Uh, I you know I was convinced that that uh, you know I'd created the wheel and and uh, I could do no wrong and this would never end because uh, the money was good. Uh, meanwhile, I didn't realize that I was slowly losing my grasp on everything. It's not just all about me. It's about everybody else. And we have to get up every day, not just for ourselves, but for all the people who depend on us daily to walk through and open those doors and turn those lights on. 
I got laid off from my job and all painted out on the street. What was your living situation like? I was living by the railroad track. And had a tarp, made it kind of like a tent, and I stayed up under there. Once you lost your job? I lost everything. We have uh, a couple people that uh, had some drug problems, and uh, Squeaky took it to heart and you know, could have fired him, but he didn't. How does that make you feel working for a place like that? Man? I can say uh, he's got the biggest heart of any man I've ever seen. I can't go back through my life and say that I regret any of it. I've made some bad choices, and I've told my first wife this several times, that our divorce was my fault. Mary just suffered quite a bit. Girlfriends didn't last long. It's hard on um, personal relationships because you do, you're traveling and you're going a lot. I think you said you've been divorced, right? Yeah, several times. Several times? Yeah. Got married on a Saturday at two or three o'clock and was back at work five o'clock that night. It's a very important relationship and it is a great relationship because they know that I care about their lives and their livelihoods and what's going on. Puebla is a traditional a Mexican town. It's a nice place. The Mexican people have been uh, building handcrafted uh, rustic furniture for centuries and still are today. Uh, and there are a lot of really talented artisans. You'd be surprised how many countries and how much labor has touched that product that is now sitting in your house that you're admiring. Tener una empresa, probablemente sean muchos, sean pocos, no lo sé, pero 200 empleados es, es una responsabilidad muy grande y definitivamente es algo con lo que todas las mañanas me despierto y me preocupo. Sal has 200 families that depend on him. The workers, they, are, they, they love him, and he makes like, like a whole family. I don't, I don't do this anymore for Amanda, and Jade, and Brandy, and Jeff, and, and all the people in this building. I do it for Margos and Salvadors and all those little people down there that are in that factory, and all those babies that I've seen at the factory with their moms and dads. That I did for them. This is not just business, this is family. It will be impossible for us to sell the, the product without Squeaky. The Mexican people are an old culture, an old, an old civilization. They are some of the best iron workers and, and have been for centuries. They take great pride in what they do, and they should, because they have amazing, amazing skills down there. If I fail, I let all those people fail, and I can't let those people fail. I can't, I can't go to bed at night knowing that I've affected 500 people in Mexico and let them down, because nobody in this industry can do what I do. Corporate. It's a scary word here. You know, we, it's a bad word. It's a no no word here. We are definitely um, a dysfunctional, functional family. Stay out of my shit. Hey, let me explain. This is my shit. Some days we get along and some days we don't. This is my family and it's awesome. I love it. And I just want it to keep growing. Even though we operate as a family, we had to learn the hard way that not everyone necessarily um, is, is always of the same mindset. But it's all part of it and we all love each other and, and work together to make you know the company grow.
So it's um, been a long journey. We've fought together, we've played together, we've, we've made money together, we've gone broke together, we've um, been down the boring paths, we've done, been down the exciting paths. Uh, we've done so much together that finally, um, you know, we, we've come to a place that uh, uh, everything has, has come together and, and it's all working. Yeah, because you argued just like this when we put the skew numbers done? in. If I was done, I'd quit talking. When we put the skews <laughs> in, you argued with me about, oh, this is a goddamn ridiculous thing I've ever seen Every in my life. Every day in paradise. Huh? Well, you're like, your body's got camel shit? No, that's that's not it's not neutral color. It's a neutral color. I've that all that long. I'm the greatest salesman walking on earth. All right. Everybody let's order, order both of them. Let's order it. both of them then. I, I understand. If you don't understand but, it, then don't understand it. But we don't have to sit here and argue it, about it for the next 30 minutes. Yeah, we're trying to do something for green. <laughs> <laughs>